Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about probability. You may be able to see behind me that I've already put something on the board telling you what probability is. So probability is the chance of something happening. It's usually written as a number between 0 and 1. So for example, the chances of me winning the lottery today, we're filming it on a Saturday, they're actually 0 because I haven't bought a ticket. So that's not going to happen. Right. The chance of the sun setting today, I would say, is one. That's definitely going to happen. OK. So what we do in these questions, we're going to write the answers as a fraction. And you always simplify the fractions. So as you'll see in a minute, the probability is basically how many possibilities there are and how many of the thing we're trying to do fits that possibility. So for example, if you've got a coin, you toss a coin, there's two possible outcomes, heads or tails. So if you're saying, what's the probability of getting a head? It's gonna be half because it's one, there's only one head and there's um, two options. Should be an even chance of getting either. There's, it's not a, it's not a, biased coin, it's not one of those coins that they use in a pub to try and get the money off you. It's just a, a fair coin as they call it. Okay, so same as rolling a die or dice, you've got six different options. So if it's the probability of rolling a three, it's one out of six. Probability of rolling an even number is going to be a half. Okay, let's look at the first um, question. Yeah, so here we go. We've already been through some of this. So, it should be pretty easy. And the probability of rolling a two, well, there's six numbers all together. There's only one two, so it's one out of six, a sixth. Probability of rolling an even number, well, there's three even numbers. There's six numbers all together. Three six is the same as a half. Okay, so that's that sheet done. Right, so, next question then. So a bag contains one green sweet, two red sweets, and five blue sweets. So what I normally would do straight away, okay, what's the total number of sweets? One plus two, three plus five is eight. So there are eight sweets. If a sweet is selected at random, what is the probability of picking a green sweet? Well, all we do, how many green sweets are there? There's one. How many sweets were together? Eight, so one eighth. You can't simplify that. A blue sweet, how many blue sweets? There are five. How many sweets all together? Eight, so five eighths. Right, what about a red sweet? How many red sweets? Two. There's eight sweets all together. So two eighths, simplify that to give one quarter. Okay. So next question comes up. Okay, so the numbers one to 10 are written on pieces of paper which are folded and dropped into a box. If a piece of paper is chosen at random, what is the probability of getting, etc. So there are 10 numbers, so we put a 10 up here. Okay, so what is the probability of getting an odd number? So there's 10 numbers, so half of them are going to be odd numbers. So well, it's five out of 10, but obviously it just comes out as a half. Right, a multiple of five, that means a number in the five times table. So in the five times table, we're gonna have five and 10. So those numbers are going to be, there's two of them, so it's gonna be two out of 10, which is one fifth. Right, a square number. So a square number is a number when you multiply by itself, the result of that is the square number. So one times one is one. That's one of the square numbers. Um, two times two is four. So that would be a square number. That's between one and 10. Three times three is nine. Right, that's nearly 10. So there can only be those three. So that means the probability of getting a square number, picking out a square number is going to be three out of 10. 
Okay, brilliant. So um, the next sheet we do is going to be a test question. So get your pens and paper ready for a short probability test. Okay, so short test on probability. Okay, I'm back. I hope you got those worked out. So we've got a bag with five red balls, four green balls, one yellow ball. So the total, you should have written five, nine, ten. Okay, what, if a ball is selected at random, what is the chance of picking, or probability of picking a yellow ball? There's only one yellow ball, so that's going to be one tenth. We should have had one tenth for that. A red ball is there are five. So if you've got five tenths, you can kind of give yourself half a mark, but you should have simplified to give you a half. So a half will get you a whole mark. Right, a green ball, how many green balls are there? There are four. So that means it's, the answer is four out of ten, and you need to simplify that to give yourself two fifths. If you don't know how to simplify fractions, we've got a video on that too in our fractions playlist. A black ball, how many black balls are there? This is where people get confused, but this is the sort of question that the examiners will throw in to confuse you. There aren't any black balls, so it's, it's not 0 out of 10, what it is, but it's just, the answer is just written as 0. Okay, so well done if you got all of those right, and thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching that video, and if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.routes2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.